What's up, everybody? So, France has suspended the aid that will provide to Burkina Faso because Burkina Faso has just given its support to Niger. Crazy, eh? First of all, let me say welcome back. Thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate you. It's such a great moment once more. Thank you so much. Uh, I salute you, South Africans. I salute you, Kenyans. I salute Tanzanians, Ghanaians. I salute you, Nigerians. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Thank you, Namibia, Malawi, Sudan, Angola. I see you from all over the place. The United States of America, our brothers over there. I salute everybody in Jamaica. I salute everybody in the Caribbean, in the UK. Thank you so much. Okay, so first of all, I uh, appreciate you. Let's all do this. You know what this is. Thank you. It's done. Thank you very much. And if this is your first time, feel free to subscribe. I'm sure you're going to love it. We love you already. Okay, so we are talking here about Burkina Faso. Very hot though it's very hot i mean extremely hot but it's beautiful people burkina faso just provided support to niger for context niger just toppled the president recently and there is a group of armed people that have been heading the country for a few days now now many other african countries as well as european countries say that they will go and attack niger to place back the ex-president in his space to reinstate the ex-president Mohamed Bazoum. Now Mali and Burkina Faso stood very strong and said no. Whoever is going to try to attack the current government in Niger will be declaring war against Mali and Burkina Faso. Now we have a situation, fellas. France is suspending the development aid and budgetary assistance to Burkina Faso, its foreign minister announced on Sunday. So Burkina Faso and Mali provided the support to Niger, saying whoever attacks Niger is going to be declaring war to Burkina Faso and Mali. France said, you know what? The aid we provide you, it's done. Bye bye. So the statement came, yeah, interesting, isn't it? The statement came days after Burkina Faso and Mali announced that they would consider any military intervention against the new military rulers in Niger as a declaration of war. France has decided to suspend financing and provision of assistance for the purpose of development of Burkina Faso over support of rebels in Niger by the African country, according to the statement released on the website of French Foreign Ministry. So the French Foreign Ministry said clearly, we're going to suspend the aid that we give you. On July 20 Six military rebels in Niger announced the removal of President Bazoum and closure of border. Okay, so they said, Hey, we're gonna close our borders. Nobody's coming in, nobody's going out. You know what happened in Niger after they say we're closing our borders? A French military aeroplane landed at night. Let me say this again. The Nigerians said we are closing our borders. May nobody come in and nobody leaves the country. A French aircraft, military aircraft, still landed at night in defiance. So obviously the new people took power because they feel like the ex-president, President Bazoum, was not working according to Africans. He was not working for the benefits of African people, but was working for foreign benefits. And that's the reason why they felt we don't need this guy anymore. The ex-president also expressed himself saying that the rebels are the terrorists in the country because the country Niger is rebel by terrorism. The terrorists are stronger than our army. Nobody with his right sense of mind would say such thing, especially a leader. A leader cannot say our opponent is stronger than us. Even when you know they are, you don't say that to your troops. That just shows weakness in the mind of a leader. That's going to discourage the people. And that's one of the main reasons why, in addition to many other reasons, poverty, misery, lack of confidence, lack of food, and many other things, the Nigerian people were angry and decided to remove him of power. ECOWAS, which is the economic community of West African states, composed of 15 states, 15 countries, they came together saying, we are against us, we don't want this new military government. They gave them an ultimatum saying, within seven days, we want you out of the power and we want you to reinstate President Bazoum. Failure to do so, we'll be coming to your country to destroy everything. Now, because the new president, Chani, is supported by the people of Niger, the people of Niger have been ready to fight whoever's going to come in the country. So on the 31st, the government of Burkina Faso and Mali expressed solidarity for the people of Niger, warning that both countries will consider any military intervention in Niger as a declaration of war. So this is what we lack in Africa, solidarity. People turning strong, coming together in the name of righteousness. Because most of the time it's when somebody stands strong against the evil. There's always somebody in the next corner who's going to try to make him fall. There's always somebody in the dark that's going to sell him out. Unfortunately, that's the history of Africa. You're looking at Thomas Sankara, same thing. Lumumba, same thing. Magufuli, same thing. Now this young generation of people that are truly 
working hard for Africans. Unlike the previous generation, where most African presidents just work for their stomach and they try and reach their families. So basically, this is how it functions, okay? Most of the people are suffering. If you are part of the government and you're getting to eat something, you get some money, you can buy a car, you got a house and stuff, you're fine. You stop fighting. You don't fight the government because you are fed. But everybody else, that's none of your business. You don't care about that. They can suffer as much as they want. They can cry as long as you are provided for. That's cool. And unfortunately, even opposition parties, you can sometimes find some very intelligent people trying to fight for the right things until they give them a bag full of dollars then they change completely they don't fight against the president anymore they don't want no righteousness no equality for nobody anymore and sometimes you ask yourself a question are these the same people that were fighting a while back you know what happened something changed they are eating now so unfortunately in most african countries even opposition people fight for their stomach they will make a lot of noise until they get into power then they forget completely they act like they never fought in the past they become the biggest supporters of the government that's making their people suffer and that's a shame so many people said the new military power has taken niger uh, without the consent of the people now yesterday they all went to the stadium to celebrate the new government Thousands in Niger rallied in support of the coup leaders. An estimated 30,000 people gathered in the capital Niamey at the stadium, some dropped in Russian flags as the threat of regional military intervention looms. As ECOWAS says we're coming to the country to place Mohamed Bazoum back in power, the people of Niger rallied in the stadium with Russian flags. Thousands of supporters of a military coup in Niger have gathered in the stadium as a deadline set by the economic community of West African state ECOWAS to return depots President Mohamed Bazou to power is set to expire. So the deadline is expired. A delegation of members of the now ruling National Council for the Safety Guard of Homeland, CNSP, arrived at the 30,000 seat stadium in capital Niamey on Sunday to cheers from supporters, many of whom carried Russian flags and portray of military leaders. So people are happy. You know, I think sometimes you need to let the people choose their own leaders. And you can clearly see these people are not confused. They know exactly what they want. They did not want Bazoum in power. So again, France has cut aid to Burkina Faso. The aid amount apparently to 482 million euros. That's the budget that was programmed for Burkina Faso. They have cut it. Okay, no more aid for you. You guys are too clever. You don't want that in your country. Things are not working on our side. So we don't, we're not going to play. So the bottom line is this. Burkina Faso asked French military to leave. This has happened to Burkina Faso too. Burkina Faso also asked French military to leave because they were not doing anything. That was in January this year. But France did not cut the aid at the time. They kept the aid. The military left, but they kept the aid. Now they've cut the aid. Why? Because they left the aid hoping to make Burkina Faso change its stance, change its mind for the money now the see burkina faso supporting niger they say you know what even the age you're not getting anymore that's it are they wrong to do that well on one side why are you begging you know you want freedom then you shouldn't be begging money from nobody doesn't make sense of course if you don't want me in your country then you shouldn't take my money either okay so burkina faso people should be ready to be autonomous to be to be self-sufficient yes if you kick somebody out if he provides you something if he brings electricity in your house then you should be able to live without electricity or find an alternative to electricity but the bottom line is the more you get aids 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 for people the more you are subjected to that life of beggars we don't want no beggars in africa we want people that are ready to fight to make things change props to burkina faso props to mali props to niger for the strong battle they're going through. Let me know how you feel about this, fellas. Is this a good thing? Do Burkina Faso need the aid coming from France? 482 million euros. That's a lot of money. Is this necessary? Can Burkina Faso do it by themselves? Can they find another way, different avenue to start generating money that belongs to them and live in freedom forever? Don't go without leaving your comments. Thank you very much. God bless. Your comment. Bye.